What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is Theory is Dead, lucky number 13, and the song we're looking at today is Cassidy. So let's go. Well, all right. Theory is Dead, Cassidy. Let's do this. <laughs> Awesome. So, theory is dead Cassidy. We'll obviously look at the riff, the chords beneath the verses, as well as what lead lines we can play, just like Garcia that outlined these chord changes, the break slash the chorus, I guess, into the solo section, and then finally the verse slash pre-jam section. So, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. The intro riff is based off of an E mixolydian scale, right? A major scale is an E mixolydian scale is the major scale, but with a flat seven degree. So instead of this D sharp, we have D natural. Right. And what the riff is, is a descending E mixolydian scale in a pattern of four. Right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ending on the major third and the octave of the root. Right? So if guitar one, for example, in this case, is doing this main riff, guitar two can play this exact same riff style, but starting from a different degree of the scale. And that would be the octave of the third degree, this high G sharp, same descending mixolydian scale in a pattern of four. Three, four, one, two, three, four. At which case you end on this B. Right? If you want also, you can play this, these exact same riffs just one octave below. Or the G sharp part. Mm -hmm. 
right? So a lot of options you can do for guitar, guitar one for this intro riff section. Now let's take a look at the verse. The first part of the verse is just two simple chords going between E major to A major. Then goes to E minor. A minor. E minor. A minor, F sharp minor now, to A major, F sharp minor, A major, and resolves back to E. Right, so pretty straightforward chords, right? You have one major, four major, then basically one minor, four minor. And you can do like this F sharp minor is the two chord, A is the four, back to one major, E major, right? So that chord progression still happens for verse one and verse two. If we were to look at what lead lines we can play and what notes we can approach, it's actually not that difficult, right? Over the E major, if you want. Play E major. Landing on the A will now indicate you're on A major. Play whatever A major look you want. Land on G sharp can indicate again you go back to that E. How can we get to this E minor? Well, after this A major, whatever lick you want to play, G natural, which is the third degree of E minor, indicates on the E minor scale, right? Now A minor, you can land on the A and play an A minor scale over the A minor chord. Something like that to get to your F sharp minor. Right? E, F sharp, G, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, F sharp, right? So let's do a little run through to get to the F sharp minor. You can hear every chord we outline, either by hitting the root or the third, right? And now we're on this F sharp minor. F sharp minor and A major are basically the exact same chords, just different roots, obviously. So over the F sharp minor and the A major, you can play the exact same chords, just landing on the root. Right? And then get 
puts you back to that E major. Right? And really, you can play whatever you want. You can play minimalistically or play a lot of lip notes, right? Whichever one you think suits best for the song or performance you're doing. So we'll do verse one and verse two, which are the exact same functions, right? Then we get to the break after the you and me, Cassidy. Goes to A, E, A, E, A, E. And it resolves to that B. You can hit that B chord right here, or you can do like a cool little walk up, which is G sharp, A, A sharp, B, right? So something like. which takes us to what I think is the chorus. Those chords, how I see it, right, are A major, or you can even do like F sharp minor, E triad on the ninth fret, of the D, G, and B string to B major, right? Something like that. And the lead line, which you can play over this progression that Garcia does is really cool. Right? So you're sliding on the D string from 9 to 11, hitting 10, 9 on the B string. Then 11, 9, 11 on the G string. Sort of do like a descending E major scale down. Right. Takes it to the outro riff. Which brings us to the solo section. Why I love this solo section so much is because the first part of the solo, right, over the E major and the A major, what you're playing in the guitar is what the vocal sing melody-wise during the verses. Which is just, again, an E major scale. Right? At which point over the E minor, take what we talked about from verse one, hitting that G, A minor, and you can play whatever lens you want over the E minor, the A minor, transition to the F sharp minor, to the A, 
and then bring you back to the E major, right? Which at this point, we're now in the pre-jam section, the fare thee well now part, which is just E to A. And you can play whatever lines you want. at which point we're now in the jam section. And the jam section, if I'm not mistaken, is really over this E, and you're still playing like an E mixed leading scale over it. Something like that. <laughs> so, with all that being said, that is Theory is Dead Cassidy. Well, all right, guys. That is Theory is Dead Cassidy. An incredible Grateful Dead song. My God. It's a great combination of chordal work as well as there's so much options you can do lead-wise underneath the verses, which is so cool as well as taking that same idea in the solo section, because again, you're playing those same chord progressions over both two verses, right? And super cool how it goes from first off being E major and A major to E minor, then A minor, then F sharp minor to the A major. Really, really cool progression. Again, all in this E mixed Lydian home setting, we could say, that eventually kicks off an incredible jam that could be very trippy and just take you on a on a journey <laughs> so with all that being said thank you all for watching today's video if you liked it please press like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in chula vista next week if you're going to the dead show as well as hollywood bowl so if you're there say hi i'll be there all right